You see this? This is exactly how I've been feeling lately, like a blobfish. But it's Monday, and it's the day I'm gonna get my shit together. This week's video is all about getting healthy and getting productive, which means fitness, eating right, self-care, productivity, and so on. If you're watching this in like 2030, hi, this is 2020, we're in quarantine. I've been in quarantine for over two months now. Also, Ramadan just ended. So quarantine plus Ramadan equals the laziest month of my life. Anyways, let's start with sleep. So when quarantine first started, I was going to bed at like 3 a.m., which is pretty late. But then as quarantine progressed and as Ramadan started, my sleeping schedule literally just flip-flopped. So I'm going to bed during the day and now waking up in the middle of the night, which is honestly the worst feeling ever. So what I did yesterday is I woke up at 2 a.m., and I made myself stay all the way up until 8 p.m. But that resulted in me waking up at 3.30 a.m. But it's fine because I'm just gonna keep doing that. Tonight, I'm gonna try to go to bed at like 10, 11 p.m. A perfect sleeping schedule for my lifestyle personally when the quarantine is over and things pick back up would be going to bed at one-ish and waking up at nine-ish. That way I'm still staying up, but I'm also not waking up too late. So that is the plan for sleep. I'm giving myself this whole week to get that fixed. I started on Monday and we're gonna go all the way until Sunday. We're gonna vlog the whole thing together. It's gonna be great. Now in regards to eating, I usually do intermittent fasting without even trying. I don't get hungry in the morning, so I find that my body naturally tends to do that. But ever since quarantine started, I've been eating all day, every day. So I have been so bloated. Restricting myself from foods does not work for me. What works best for me personally is eating whatever I want and just making sure I control my portions. I may start counting my calories again. I know that's not a lifelong choice, but it's a good way for me to be more mindful and aware of how much I'm eating. In regards to fitness, I'm gonna go back to working out three to four times a week. I legit haven't worked out in almost a month and I usually live a very active lifestyle. My job alone requires me to be very active, so shout out to quarantine for ruining that. And then lastly, self-care. I'm used to getting a massage and a facial once a month, but again, I can't do that right now. So we're just gonna try things at home. Okay, that was a lot of talking. I'm gonna stop now and let's get this vlog started.
All right, so to make this easier on myself, I'm gonna sort out what needs to be hung, what needs to be folded, and in the folded section, I'm gonna sort it out into PJs, workout clothes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera.
guys, this is the third time I run inside in the middle of my workout because I could have sworn I saw a murder hornet pass by. I don't know if I'm just tripping, but I saw something huge zoom past me and a bird was flying that way and then it like randomly freaked out. It went like, and then it like flew the other way, you know? Yeah, so definitely a change of scenery for the next workout. I am all done. I got pink nails for the first time in forever. I can only have team colors on my nails for my job, which is red, black, or white, which I honestly don't mind because red and white are my favorite nail colors but we're in quarantine so I can get whatever color I want. So I picked a bright pink, changing it up a bit. The nail salons were very cautious. They scheduled only one person per hour to make sure that there's no more than two people in the salon at the same time. And they made sure we wore a face mask and they themselves wore both gloves and a face mask. So that made me feel really safe. Anyways, I'm about to head home, shower and eat. Good morning guys. So today is content creation day. So what I do is I get ready once a week and shoot a week worth of content. I have to have full hair and makeup done every single shift for my job. So I've really been enjoying letting my face rest. And that's why just getting ready once a week has been amazing. All right, I am all ready and I will catch up with you later on tonight. It is 1.30 a.m. and I am exhausted. I honestly didn't shoot nearly as much content as I was hoping, but for some reason, I'm just so tired today. I can usually go eight hours before I get really tired, but today I was just exhausted after two hours and I tried, you know, taking a break and having a snack in between, but that just made me even more exhausted, so I'm not gonna force it. I'm done. I'm gonna go to sleep and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.
getting some sun and I'm about to swim. I haven't used my pool in almost a year, which is crazy to me, but I'm gonna get my workout done by doing laps. I like to change my workout every now and then so I don't get bored. include castor oil, coconut oil, and apple cider vinegar. And you just mix all that together. And then I'm probably gonna keep it on for three to four hours before I wash it off. And then I'm also going to use this vitamin E face mask. Now, I usually use the Indian Healing Clay. That's my absolute favorite face mask. But I ran out, so this is going to have to do for now. Ooh, it smells really good. Boo. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm gonna end this vlog right here <laughs> while looking all crazy and such. But I honestly do feel a lot better this week. I feel lighter, I feel like I have more clarity, I'm less stressed, and I'm definitely being a lot more productive with my time. I actually got called in to go into training for my job tomorrow, so this was the perfect week to restart and reset before life gets busy again. So I really hope this video helps anyone who needs it, anyone who's been feeling unmotivated. And yeah, be sure to like and subscribe. I will see you next week. <laughs> ah, ah, I look crazy.